All right, got got an unboxing to do and some exciting news. I uh, got this uh, my laser cue cleaned up for Portland Retro Gaming Expo coming up in October 21st to the 23rd. Uh, so I got it the top side cleaned and also checked all the incandescent bulbs that are in here and made sure that there wasn't any black. Uh, blackness going on which all of them look pretty good still so so yeah and I still need to check the uh, underside uh, the controlled lighting under under the play field yet of course I don't have to do any of the GI because that is all frosted LEDs so but yeah I still need to uh, flip the play field around and check the lights, all the incandescent lights, and um, go around and uh, take care of all the wobbly uh, stand-up targets. Uh, I have a feeling that I'm going to have to uh, toothpick a lot of these uh, stand-up targets because uh, I have a feeling that they're not going to tighten down as tight as it, they should be. Uh, the also, also the other the other thing I did is I put foam be uh, behind all of the stand-up targets, so they all have uh, foam, which is basically just the uh, th the thin weather stripping stuff is all. So yeah, those are all done. So that's exciting, uh, and I'll while while I. Uh, um, uh, mess with the targets I'll probably uh, uh, like this one's kind of off-centered so I'll probably try and uh, center it as best as I can because that does bug me and I'm sure it d bugs um, some of you others too uh, it should be more like this one that's kind of in the center there uh, so yeah and I just noticed that I need to rub off that dirt that's on the rubber there but uh, let me get the rag and do that now all right there we go cleaned out that little dirt that was there there's some dirt behind the post here but I'll get to that when I center the uh, target better uh, so yeah I think that might be it for the update for the laser cue uh, and of course, eventually I am going to LED all of this whole game, but of course that costs quite a bit to do. So, and I already am pretty much down the shitter with that C ray uh, that I'm restoring. So, so yeah, let me get to the. Uh, unboxing here oh and I will um, I'm not going to set up the whole rig but I will set up the uh, the camera and play a game uh, with with you guys watching <laughs> so anyways on to the unpackaging Did uh, dust the uh, apron here. I got as many as the uh, of the uh, fingerprints as I could off of the uh, of both of these cards. Uh, they are uh, photo paper glossy, so. But I'm not going to use any liquid or anything because uh, it's just a crappy printer that do any liquid on on it and it'll pretty much kill the ink on it so which at, at some point you're gonna get a laser printer uh, that's 
that my folks still haven't bought one, so me. <laughs> Sweet polyair, polyair. Ooh, I've always wanted some polyair. And we have a zero one two gift, uh, dream rotating protection lamp. I okay, but yeah, it's one of those cheap Chinese things, light things that lights up and gives you stars and moons and stuff on the ceiling or whatever. So yeah. Uh, I was like, what? It looks like somebody cut it, but it's actually just shrink wrapped. Shrink wrapped. Oh yeah, and this one, you can uh, it you can do it by USB power or uh, it all, you can also do battery powered. And yay, the the screw thing is not there. I hate it when they have those screws plus the little tab thing. Ugh, I hate that. Uh, and there looks like four AAA's, which I'll probably just use the uh, USB power for this. That's a neat trick, the, the dome. Ew. Okay, so it has two domes, I guess. One if you want it, want to diffuse the light, I guess. Or just like a dust cover or whatever. Uh, but yeah. You have different modes, uh, A, B, and C. that that package whoops as I try and break it well, then I guess the uh, this dome does come off uh, I wonder if you could get different domes for this thing or something because it was it's just on like a latch type thing where you set it down and then turn it to uh, lock it in place so so that's pretty cool that you can get to these LEDs really easily. If you needed to replace them if they exploded or something. Well, and I got the purple base one, but they also have pink, blue, and of course the purple one. But I chose the purple because that is my favorite color. So. So yeah, on to the next package. All right, so. Ooh, I think I know what this is. And I'll probably get styrofoam all over the newly cleaned frickin' play field. Ooh. do this on the high speed because this w I am going to clean the, the high speed at some point. And here's some of the what so basically it's a purple dragon. But I got it because it has something pretty cool that I think, well, I think is cool. And it has battery compartment. So 
So yeah, for uh, as cheap as this is, it's actually really, it's a really nicely painted cheap thing. Uh, I want to say it was like 22 or 25 dollars maybe. I'd have to double check, but it's pretty neat. It's always a crapshoot if you get something nice that's cheap like this. The pictures, they show the pictures all, all nice and stuff, but when you get it, it looks like crap. But this is actually one that's fairly cheap, and it looks really nicely painted for, uh, for being as cheap as it is. But uh, I'll show what what feature it has, which is I think pretty cool. All right, I've got the batteries in it, so let me turn it on. Oop. So. The crystal has an LED in it, and it's a color-changing LED. And it, and for a change, it's not one of those that flat blinks like really obnoxious. It's one of those slowly f slow fading ones. Uh, let me turn off the overhead so you can see it better. Well, there, let me turn off the flashlight on this too. All right, so here's the, the dragon with the, uh, all the lights off and the light on the camera off. And it's, it's pretty much just a mood lighting kind of thing because it doesn't really, uh, have a lot, whole lot of light that it gives off so but I think it's pretty cool that uh, they they put an LED in the crystal part the only other thing that might have been cool is to put LEDs in the eyes but of course it's really the eyes are really small for uh, this figure so probably couldn't stick them in there So yeah, I'm happy with this purchase. It's really cool. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the for everything. So let me uh, get the uh, laser cue up and going and give you a game play on the newly cleaned play field. All right, got it set up. Uh, for right now it's just going to be the play field and at some point I'll do the play field and the score uh, but for now just doing the play field. <laughs> be louder because I have the glass off.
plastics off, I adjusted this bottom switch so that it's more closer because before it was too far apart and so it wasn't uh, scoring when it hit the bottom there. So now it's scoring fairly well now on the bottom there. Notice since doing the foam on the backs, it doesn't make the toying, toying noise as much either. Alright, so that's the first game. I, I'll probably do one more. One more game because it was about three minutes there. Go for round two. in there I'm getting worse as I go uh, so that was 84,000 that I got Oof, that was terrible so yeah that's uh, playing real good of course I don't know why it would wouldn't uh, play good well you know, I shouldn't say plays good because the uh, four and f the uh, drop downs are wanting to stick. Um, I do have all the uh, coils on. I'm waiting for the coils in the uh, for this game because uh, I think the reset uh, coil is the wrong one, and I was going to just redo all the. Uh, Fight the fight bank here with new coils as well, and everything else, which there's not too many coils in this. So, yeah, so yeah, that's it for today. Bye.